You might not know the name, Willis H. O'Brien, but you probably know his work. He's the animator behind the terrifying dinosaurs in 1925's The Lost World. The Black Scorpion in 1957. And in 1933, he brought to life his most famous creature, the eighth wonder of the world, King Kong. But in 1918, O'Brien started working on what he thought would be his first feature length movie, The Ghost of Slumber Mountain. And it was a film that would lay the groundwork for some of the most important special effects films of all time. Welcome to 100 Years of Cinema. We'll be taking a look at one film each year since 1915, discussing the movies that changed the art. The plot to The Ghost of Slumber Mountain is extremely simple. A man goes for a walk in the woods of Slumber Mountain. He finds a telescope in the cabin of a mad hermit, which allows him to see into the past. He's magically transported into a prehistoric world, complete with a brontosaurus, a triceratops, and a T-Rex. The film was originally meant to run for around 40 minutes, but for reasons unknown, it was cut down to just 18. This was by no means the first example of stop motion animation, People have been making stop motion films since the beginning of cinema, but it was the first film to mix live action footage and stop motion in a way that was meant to suggest that these beasts inhabited the real world. The technique lifted stop motion from a gimmick that could be used to tell a simple story to a new tool that filmmakers could use to transport real actors into impossible worlds and put them face to face with terrifying creatures. O'Brien's idea of mixing live action and stop motion was an important milestone in film. It was an idea he would develop further when overseeing the visual effects for his most famous film, King Kong. Using rear screen projection, O'Brien would take a live action shot and project it as a composite into the set. As he advanced live action footage along one frame at a time, he moved his model and photographed them both together. And with this, O'Brien could build a world where real actors could interact with stop motion creatures. This technique would be perfected by O'Brien's protege, Ray Harryhausen, in films like The Seven Voyages of Sinbad. The animation in Ghost of Slumber Mountain is surprisingly advanced for the time, when compared to other similar films from the period, for example 1908's Dreams of Toyland, the movement of the dinosaurs is fluid and dynamic, and O'Brien animates to the minute detail, such as having a T-Rex lick his lips after a bloodthirsty kill. O'Brien was also a pioneer in using stop motion in combination with camera movements, Panning while animating helped give the idea that the creature existed in a physical space outside of the frame. The film ran with the tagline, These giant monsters of the past are seen to breathe, to live again, to move and battle as they did at the dawn of life. And it was extremely successful, making $100,000 on a $3,000 budget. Although the film hasn't aged all that well, the plot is overly simple for the time, and the special effects, though groundbreaking and spectacular then, are somewhat crude by today's standard. However, it stands in film history as the forerunner of one of the best special effects films of all time, King Kong. Thanks for watching. Please comment to let me know your favorite dinosaur fight in film history and subscribe so we can travel through 100 years of film history together.